making a pasta for the walls, all right? Um, the ingredients we're gonna be using is sand and lime and a little bit of pigment. And in this ratio, I'm using two parts lime, um, two parts sand, white pastoring sand, and one part um, hydrated lime, okay? Um, so, yes. So you're gonna gently just hydrate that, right? Eh? And get into a nice slurry, okay? Okay, no yeah. clumps. No clumps. Minimal clumps as you possibly can. Yeah. Okay? Um, who's gonna help me with sand? You can let that. In that case, would you, you'd have to wait, wait a month for it to... Uh... Not necessarily. But what this does is it kind of, like I said, it hydrates it. Just mm. like we would soak the clay to get it hydrated. Mm. It brings all those properties of like, like that stickiness, that bindy mm. kind of um, quality in it that you're looking for. Alright? And what we're going to do is, we're going to take this up again. Right? And then you just walk it off with the hose. 
Um, you want to use like clean shovels, clean tools, clean anything when you mix it. This with so nothing is contaminated. All right. Just like you would put the clay and the sand, you're gonna get this like properly mixed in. So what I've noticed when working with plastering sand is like really absorbs moisture. All right. I try my best to hardly ever use plain water, even when I'm making like other thick bases or first layers, I personally prefer to use the silted water that's already soaking in the clay as opposed to like water with all those microbes in it, alright? But you can use regular water if you want.
are like a thin, it's a, a little amount, alright? We're not putting like a thick, too thick of a layer, it's one inch. 